everyone, this is Chris. Thank you for joining me. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can tint or color some little stones, some rocks, pebbles, anything that is non-porous. So these are glass shards and I will show you in the video they are already tinted actually but I didn't like the color. It was like a grayish, bluish color. But I was given this by someone, you know, like 10 years ago and never really used them. And I decided I was gonna use them now. I tried to take rid of all the things I don't use for a while and I don't wanna throw them away. So it's really simple, it's easy, and it's fast to dry. These, this is also glass, but these I have bought in a shop. They're, they're kind of glass shards, but they don't have any um, hard edges. At the opposite of these have our hard edges. And I've also used some little, little rocks that are that were white in the beginning i've colored them and in they have live different shades of of pinks i have the same one here that had different shades of green of course you can use any color and you'll see that i will do further videos in, in the future how you can use these in jewelry making to make like druzy pendants or rings and also into resin for coasters for example and so many more so with no further ado Let's get started. So here are different ideas or materials that you will be able to use. So these are little rocks that usually are used for fish tanks. So that's one of the idea. You can use any kind of rock actually for this. So these are quite small. I am also going to use these glass shards. These are more for decoration. Oh, by the way, I'm sorry for my fingers, but I am going to use alcoholic ink, alcohol inks, not alcoholic, alcohol inks, I'm sorry. So I would recommend you wearing some gloves. Otherwise, you can always take it away with some alcohol, rubbing alcohol. But it might still stain your, your fingers after a while. So put some gloves on. So glass shards, these are transparent, my best choice because you can color them in any color. And I'm also gonna use these uh, they were given to me by somebody who thought I could use them. They also are glass shards, but they are tinted in a kind of grayish, bluish color. So I'm going to try with, again, the alcohol inks to color them probably in darker colors and see if it works. This will be added to some of our resin projects. And again, you could have more things to put in here. Then I'm going to use some zip, box, uh, zip bags, and I would recommend not putting the fillings in here more than over the half in order to have space for all the little rocks in here to move and get covered by the ink. You could use also probably acrylic ink for this but the problem is that it's going to go matte and you're going to lose this translucent part of it. So if it's little rocks like this it won't be an issue since this is already um, opaque but if you still want something that is going to be uh, kind of translucent I would recommend using alcohol ink so I'm not going to use I'm not going to show you these I'm just going to show you on the um, the white ones and the transparent ones and I will do the same thing of course with the others and you will look at the result afterwards so I'm going to start off with the white and I'm going to go for uh, what did I use I'm going to go some with some green here. So, this is, I'm using Pinata colors, by the way, because for me, they are the best. They are super vibrant and they're excellent. You can use re-inkers for this. Any brand will do. Don't put a lot. Put just two, depending on the quantity, just put two or three drops. One, two, three. Put the cap on very quickly because it's alcohol-based, so it's going to evaporate and then you close your zip lock. I would consider leaving a lot of air in your bag. It's gonna make it easier for all the little uh, stones to move along. All right, so this is the color I've come up to. All of the stones are probably not going to absorb the color the same way as you can see here. And I really like this color. It's a bit of a teal color. Some of them are darker than others. And I like that. If you don't like that, add more ink and they will eventually all have the same kind of color. I'm going to leave this one as is because I really like the way it looks. And I will probably do maybe in a future project uh, a, a ring with this or maybe a pendant. 
using these little stones. All right, now let's move on to this one. I'm going to use the same color on the transparent crystals or glass shards. One, two, three. And shake. You have it. This is another color. This looks more like a uh, very light green. Like almost a bottle of, uh, of wine, even though it's lighter. If you don't like the color, I think I would like it maybe a bit darker or a bit more greeny, yellowy. I might add a little bit of, of um, yellow in here, but that's the way it looks. So I would recommend you, be when you take this away, not to put it in your hand, of course, but to put it on maybe parchment paper or cookie sheets and you spread them apart and you let them dry. It's going to be very fast, just a few minutes, but just to make sure that they're going to dry completely on all, all sides. So you just move them along again with your gloves. Don't do what I just did. And that's the way you are going to have all kinds of colored glass or colored stones in all the shades you wish without having to buy each color. You can make them just as soon as you need to. So I think it's a great tip and you can apply this to other kinds of materials. I would not use anything that is porous because otherwise you won't have time to shake them all. But for any non-porous surface, maybe these are a little bit porous depending on what kind of stone they are, is going to work like a charm. So I'm going to let everything dry and I will show you the end result. So here are the results, everything that I have used. So this is the first ones that I have made. They're different shades of greens. This is, so remember the, uh, the glass I showed you that was already tinted? Well, this is it. So this is one of the green I showed you, I did with you. It's also this one here that is really, really nice. Added, I added some blue and some green to have this shade. I decided that would, I'd make some in black. Also using the, the same kinds of ink, I have a purple one. I know it looks blue on camera, but it is purple. This one also is really nice. I do have a little bit of, there you go. No, that's a blue one. Where does it go? Uh, oh, it goes here. So this is a nice green as well. That's the yellow. I think it's really bright, it's beautiful. So this one is the glass one here. This is the brand that I have used. I can make the difference between because some of them are really rounded and some of them are pointy. They're, they have sharp edge. These are the pinks, also in different shades. And this is the, the, the glass one also. And I wanted to show you that I have used the Lumière Jacquard. This is the gold one that I have used to make the, the one that were, I would say, ugly. Um, that were tinted, I decided to make some gold as well. And I think it's really nice. And now in the next step, I, I will do this in another video, I will try to do some projects with resin, either UV resin or epoxy resin to see how it's going to turn out. I don't know if the color is going to stay in place or if it's gonna spill in contact with a UV resin. So we'll make a try and you'll see, you'll judge by yourself if it's worth or not. But anyway, I am sure we'll be able to use these in many projects. So thank you very much for joining me. Please give me some thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button to get notified every time I post a new video. And please, of course, leave me your comments below and share on social medias. Thank you so much, everyone. Take care and see you soon.